Hi, my name is Kevin Lee. In this presentation, I will explain how to compute JMS connection with RabbitMQ. Agenda for the video. So, uh, I will explain what are the things you need to configure within RabbitMQ server side and also from the client machine, uh, which is nothing but the machine hosting the Panic server. What are the things that you need to configure? So, I will explain both sides. Set up RabbitMQ. Um, so even if your MQ, RabbitMQ is running fine, in order to install with JMS connection, for the server side, you have to enable the JMS plugin. So uh, RabbitMQ server comes with the script, so make sure that you run the script and then you have to enable the JMS plugin. And when it, after then, after it is done, uh, you have to restart the RabbitMQ server to take effect. Set up uh, power exchange for JMS. Um, so the first thing is you have to re uh, re uh, copy the required jar files into Informatica install directory, um, which is info underscore home slash server slash bin java lib directory. Or you can set those jar files in your craft path in, uh, environment variable. And once that is done, uh, you have to create JNDI uh, bindings file, uh, which uh, RabbitMQ provides. So make sure that you download the file and then just put it in. We have a knowledge base article. The article ID number is this one, 333913. If you look at this <coughs> KB document, it will sh uh, show, explain uh, what are the things that you have to configure? Basically, it just says um, shows the same thing. So you have to run the plugin, uh, the script to register the plugin. Once that is done, uh, you have to restart the RabbitMQ. <clears throat> On the client machine, basically these are the jar files that you need to configure. Once again, the required jar files can be different depends upon the RabbitMQ version. So make sure that you follow the RabbitMQ documentation and get the required jar files. Um, uh, for the one that we tested, which is version 3.15, these are the required jar files, which you can download from the RabbitMQ uh, website. And also, RabbitMQ server, um, if you go to RabbitMQ home uh, in, uh, website, they provide the, the binding files. So make sure that you download the file. That way you can configure the JMS connection. So once you download the file, these are the jar, uh, sample jar, uh, the bindings file that RabbitMQ um, website provides. So the only thing you have to do is that um, you have to provide your host name of the MQ RabbitMQ server machine. And then you keep uh, copy this file into the client machine, which is the power center server machine. And um, then you can connect to a sample queue name, my queue. But however, if you want to create a new queue name or something, basically you have to copy this entry and just make your own. And you may want to change the property. But if you want to change the property, make sure that you follow the rapid MQ documentation. So now, let me show you JNDI and JMS connection that you need to create from Workbook Manager. So just go to Connection and Application, and you have to define JNDI and JMS connection. And JNDI connection, if I check the property, uh, JNDI context factory, this is a constant value. So um, each J JMS provider has a different uh, JNDI context factory, which basically shows that's what you're connecting to. So it's RabbitMQ, uh, IBM Westview MQ. So each one has different uh, constant value, basically. So that's there. JNDA provider URL is where you have to provide the binding file. So uh, the bindings file is located in this folder under your slash home slash Kelly. That's where you have to provide the after path. So that's there. That's the JND and JNDI um, configuration. So, and JMS connection. Uh, basically, you have to provide that uh, what if you are connecting to Q, and you have to just specify this Q. And for RabbitMQ, um, we are basically just using the um, default uh, binding file provided by RabbitMQ. 
so if you use that basically the connection factory is connection factory only and uh, already uh, there are two um, you can connect the queue and topic each one and uh, default one uh, the basically the name is my queue and there is another one which is my topic so you can connect to topic uh, default uh, topic that uh, configuration so you can provide my topic if you want to con connect to a topic so that's what you have to configure for the session so in this particular session basically the input is prep file and the target is JMS so you make sure that you provide the correct one there so once again uh, the India connection uh, connection uh, context factory is uh, this this is the value provider URL is the location of the binding file JMS connection factory is connection factory my queue is the JMS destination so once again, the knowledge base article is 333913, which shows how to configure power exchange for JMS with RabbitMQ. So please use this documentation to configure connection. And we also provide a JMS test utility named JMS Connect, which you can find from our customer portal. So just go to this URL and you will uh, be able to find it. This is the uh, JMS Connect Test Utility that I mentioned. So if you go towards the bottom, you will see the JMS Test Utility, the zip file. So it's a Java program, it's OS independent, so you can test it on any supported platform, meaning any platform that Power Center can be installed. That's about it for um, configuration for RabbitMQ. Um, if you have any question or update anything uh, feel free to uh, log into twitter.com slash informatica support and or send the email support videos at informatica.com thank you very much